Welcome back, Honest Man, Witcher 3, first playthrough. Picking up where we left off last time inside the manor of the Bloody Baron. Looking for clues to Ciri's whereabouts, and also clues to the whereabouts of the Baron's wife and daughter, for that matter, which is our, our more immediate concern, as he is withholding some information from us until we find them. So that's where we're picking up. Between sessions, I did quite a bit, though, actually. Um, nothing really noteworthy, just some side questy stuff. Played a lot of cards. So, but I think my equipment is still the same. I do have a couple of things waiting for me. I have a desperately needed silver sword upgrade sitting here and a nice armor upgrade sitting here both awaiting a level 6, which is a mere 23 experience points away. So, we'll see how we get that. It should be should be a piece of cake, right? Uh, and yeah, you can see my silver sword here is down to 5% durability. So yeah, desperately needed upgrade on the silver sword, because I just didn't want to pay the money to repair a level one silver sword at this point. And you can see I'm down to 17. I don't know what the currency is, gold? Whatever it is, I'm, I got 17 of them, which is very little. Anyway, that's enough for me. We're back on the trail here. So Siri was here. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? To my dear friends Philip and Anna from Count Le Guerre, Minister of Culture for the Kingdom of Temeria. Vizima 1265. Whoever thinks curses are only ever manifestations of one being's ill will towards another is sorely mistaken. Shockingly commonplace are reports of curses cast unwittingly on oneself or on objects in one's immediate environment. The consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases, they lead to harm or even the death of the person afflicted by the curse or of the people spending time with the object or being on which the curse has fell. That is why it is so essential to take preventative measures to safeguard oneself as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. As an absolute minimum, Madame Emilia Veracruz Leon recommends cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts, striving to be at one with the world, and achieving harmony between body and mind. Hmm. Dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend! She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Do you know 
where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Look familiar? My top! Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Thanks, Gritka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. <laughs> this... This... Shenanacking. Okay, so there we got our level up. Right on cue. Exactly as planned. Uh, one quick stop left before we leave the Baron's residence. And that is the basement here. We're down in the cellar. Trying to find maybe a little more information from this scent of wine and whatnot. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. Eternal fire which lighten our hearts and giveth light. Heat us with thy warmth, dry our tears, burn our foes, embrace our friends in thy care. Give my mother health, punish my father, help me fulfill my destiny. Huh. Interesting. So the daughter, perhaps, was converted? to the Peller. Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augeries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened postures all over him. now do we you do well let's go then hey anybody home open up it's safe now devils who do they bring what seek ye? I need your help Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. You were expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death. But the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper. Designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. 
old magic. Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess, my goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. This way, I think. This way, Your Grace. Where the hell did you go? Bear! Bear! Run, you stupid! You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess! Flee not from the Pella, for there are wolves about! Goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat! tomorrow now know where they might be blood we need blood a living being fine be right back
Will this do? Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Did the Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is. And he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefather's eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefather's eve this year. But we'll find a way all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned forefather's eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is.
shot her in the belt again. I don't calm him down. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! You've heard yourself a barrel of Lyrian! I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! I see. Ah. Ah. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying trick! Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day. But not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place. Ask anyone. 
She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. And she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. 
Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Need to tend to something first. Be quick! And me? What am I to do in the meantime? Sober up. Okay, before we proceed, I just wanted to take a hot second to show everyone the bestiary entry for this botchling. Um, cursed oil for the blade. I don't think I'm going to need that. I've been skipping oils so far. Axie sign. Vulnerable to Axie, which is interesting. That's the mind control one. So I'm going to have that on tap. And then just a little quick explanation here. Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies, discarded without a proper burial, their appearance is that of a partially decayed fetus. Their unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. So yeah, that's great. Can't wait. Well, ready? The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The graves dug up, and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Look! Quick, 
And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets very restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you've got to bury it under the threshold. The tales are true. By tomorrow it'll be a leprechaun. From then on it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Chosen the name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... It's a girl. But what would Anna have named her? What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubricant. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubricant. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. By 
blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Quiet, boy. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream, then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. 
moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye. Though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly, which were the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did death. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. 
Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should I acted earlier? Taking them all from this damned villain? In this hole? This reesty mire? Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it has helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri. Like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Foltest's feasts? Is still among the living. Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where they teach you that, anyway? A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? Let's say I go about my business, and when there's coin to be earned, I don't readily turn it down. I've always held with the world how it is today. Lasses ought to know how to fend for themselves. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback, nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. Oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak.
Die Dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, silly! Don't you embarrass us! Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it! Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. So long. Okay, I think that's going to be a wrap. Uh, this quest is taking on a life of its own. But we'll come back next time and track down Tamara and find out what's become of Anna as well. Until then, thank you all so much. Please like and subscribe. This has been Honest Man, and I will see you next time with more Witcher 3.